This is the Lockpicking Lawyer, and what I have for you today is a Trimax Model T665 Motorcycle Disc Brake Lock. This lock is designed to fit over the disc brake rotor of a motorcycle and lock in place with this disc detainer core. You can see right here on the packaging exactly how it's supposed to be situated. The idea is that this lock will prevent your wheel from turning and therefore stop all forms of rollaway theft. Trimax includes with this lock a small carrying case, this reminder cable that you're supposed to run from the lock to your handlebar to make sure you don't accidentally drive off with the lock in place, and three disc detainer keys, one of which has an LED light on it. Now interestingly, the packaging refers to these keys as quote, wise keys. That's a term I'm not familiar with, so if you do know what that reference is, I'd appreciate it if you would put it in the comments below. What we're going to do today is see what it takes to pick into this Trimax lock. It has a disc detainer core, and they tend to be a little bit harder to pick, if only because the skills and tools that are required to open them tend to be less common. However, I do have the tools, and hopefully I have the skill. So the first thing we do in picking locks like this is to rotate all of the discs as far clockwise as they will go. Then I can insert my tool. This particular one is designed to tension from the back of the lock. Okay, I think I have this in position. This is a seven disc lock. So I am tensioning off a number seven and looking for number six right now. Let's see, I don't think I quite have this right. I'm not sure I have that in all the way, let's see. Okay, let's try that one more time. Okay, I have a little click out of disc six. Moving on to disc five, seems to be binding. Got a little click there. Number four, got a little click there. Three, got a little something there. Four feels loose. I'm sorry, two feels loose. And got a little click out of one. Okay, let's go back to the beginning. Okay. Okay, disc six feels like it's set. So does disc five, four, three feels set. So does two. I'm having a tough time getting on disc one. There we go, got disc one. Okay, this lock I have to say feels, for lack of a better term, a little bit mushy on the inside, like a lot of the gates are indistinct. However, we were able to get it open. Huh, and it appears like this paint rubs off really easily as well. Okay, that's interesting. Certainly a hallmark of quality. Okay, so as I said before, the skills and tools that are required to pick these locks tend to be very uncommon, particularly among those who are stealing motorcycles. So picking probably isn't a realistic, real-world threat. However, I do have some concerns about the strength of the construction for this lock, and that's probably going to be the subject of a future video. If and when I do that, I will put a link to that video in the description below.
But that's all I have for you today. If you do have any questions or comments about this Model T665, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe. And as always, have a nice day. Thank you.